Hey guys, today we are going to talk about fall fashion trends and this is a really special video because it was one year ago that I became the Plasterlines fashion vlogger and my first video that I ever did was fall fashion. So we've really come full circle and it's been such an amazing year and I just want to say thank you to all of you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing and just supporting this endeavor. It's so special. I'm so blessed to have this opportunity. We love sharing this with you guys. I love making these videos for you guys. It's because of you and your support that we're doing this. And I just wanna say thank you all so much. It means the world. You'll never know how much it means, but it's really, really wonderful. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. So enough mushiness, um, onto the video. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of stuff that I picked up at Plaster Orleans while shopping, of course. And it's a few fall trendier kind of items and I've actually worn the items and filmed it so you can see what it looks like on and how I wore the trend. And then I'm also gonna like hold stuff up for you to show you how it looks just kind of, you know, as it would normally do a haul, so you get kind of the best of both worlds. So let's get started. First up, maroon or burgundy, huge color trend this year for fall. So I picked up this t-shirt dress-ish. It's kind of like a tunic. It's from the Bay. It's from the Dex line. Okay, so it looks kind of just like a regular t-shirt. Um, you don't necessarily have to wear anything underneath it, but the best part is this piece here in the back. It's like super drapey. It comes down way past your bum and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love this piece. Looks great for layering. It's really pretty with leggings or shorts. Like I'm wearing leather shorts in the video. They're huge. They're everywhere. And I just, I just really love this. The color is flattering. You could pair a chunky cardigan over top. You could put it with a skirt, and it's just kind of that nice wine color that will really complement all skin tones. I am obsessed. Obsessed with these boots. They're from Aldo. I love them. They're super comfortable. They've got a wedge. It's a hidden wedge, and I guess it's about four inches. I know some of you are like, well, that's really high, but if you wear heels, it's not too bad. I love the buckles on the side here. These boots are just killing it for me for fall. I love kind of the pant leg inspired um, leather portion of it. These are called Klar, and I pick these up at Plaster Orleans. Now, if they don't have your size in stock, or if they don't have the boot in stock, the people at Plaster Orleans Aldo are so, so wonderful. Just tell them the name of the boot you're looking for, which is Klar, and I, um, and I, yes. <laughs> they will order the boots for you online, ship them right to your house, but the thing is, is you have to go into the store to get the free shipping. So go to the Plaster Orleans Aldo. If you're looking for an awesome boot, these are the ones for you for fall. They're so killer. I also love that these are real leather and the bottoms are kind of rubbery. They have a rubber sole, which is really great. So you're not slipping and sliding all over the place when you're walking around. Faux leather is everywhere. It's on shorts, it's on jackets, it's on skirts, it's on leggings, it's everywhere. I picked up this pleated leather, faux leather skirt from our den. I know what you're thinking, like this is a little bit over the top. We also call them skater skirts. There's an elastic in the back so it's super stretchy and it's just really funky looking. It's super on trend. Kind of everyone is sporting these things right now and the pleats really make it current so you could pair this you know with boots you're seeing a lot of those boots I know I just paired mine with a snug kind of crew neck because I thought that really put the emphasis on the skirt and I love how that looked but it would look really nice with kind of a white Oxford or maybe a slouchy sweater in a color I just kind of wanted to go for the all black with the pop of color on the lip for a statement making look. I am 
dying over this jacket. I love this jacket. It's from Dynamite. It's olive green, which is huge for fall, just like burgundy. Those are the two major players as far as color go for fall. Navy is kind of a third ringer, but burgundy and olive green are just killing it, like on point for your color scheme. As long as you have something of those colors in your closet, you're going to be totally on trend. This jacket is amazing. It's kind of a blazer. It's got a waterfall front, which means it's just kind of drapey down the front. There's the black on the inside, which you, is totally exposed when you're wearing it. And it just looks awesome. The best part is the faux leather sleeves. How can you get enough of that? I can't. I don't know. I just love this. Love this. And also the back of it is higher, which is like super chic. I just, I really love when the back of jackets kind of are higher. It just, I don't know. It looks great. And it's much trendier than having kind of all the way around be the same length. And the last thing that I picked up is this cute black beanie. This one's from Garage and it's really cute and knit. It also came in like an ivory color. I love that it's super, super slouchy and that is really, really trendy right now. Girls in slouchy hats. You could just kind of dress this up. As you can see, I'm pairing it with camel pants, which is a really big pattern for fall and you can kind of find those everywhere. If you're looking for pants that look like mine, Detox at Plaster Orleans is carrying almost identical pairs, which I would have picked up if I didn't already have a pair of camo pants. But back to the beanie, love this. It's great for if you're having a bad hair day too. You can just kind of throw it on or if you have really bad roots and you can't get to the salon anytime soon, a beanie is kind of your best friend because it looks cool and you look cute and it covers up kind of a bad hair day. I'm going to show you how to wear your beanie because you don't really want to wear the floppiness on top like that. No, there is a specific way to wear your beanie. So what you want to do is you want to put it on the back of your head, cover the ears, and then pull the front down, almost to your eyebrows. If you have a side bang, that's even better because it looks super super cute. I don't know if you guys noticed in the video but I actually pinned my side bang into my hat with a black bobby pin. It just kind of made it look better. Pull your hair in front like this and now here's the kicker. Here is what you must must do if you're gonna wear a beanie. You have to take the sides like this and pull them out and down. So you get that floppiness really at the bottom and kind of back of your head. So it's like at the nape of your neck almost, pull it out and down. See how like super slouchy and cute that looks? Yeah! So that's how you put on a beanie. <laughs> okay, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as per usual. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And I hope to see you out at Plaster Orleans on October 5th. Saturday at 5 o'clock because we are doing a huge VIP night. It's going to be awesome and I am hosting it so I would love for you to come out. I would love to meet all of you. It's going to be an amazing night with food and drinks and lots of prizes to be won. Tickets are being given away. All the details are on the Plaster Orleans Facebook page but don't worry if you don't win tickets you can actually buy them at guest services and all the proceeds go towards dress for success so it's going to be a wonderful night i'd love to meet you come out come out come out and i hope to see you there and i'll see you guys in my next video